a little gloomy in some spots. This is the view right now in Lindenville. Very, very foggy. I was tempted to show the picture of the rainbow again because it is so beautiful, but I want to make sure you guys know that the fog here is going to be the bigger issue and the bigger concern. 32 there, so there could be some of that freezing in some spots too. So heads up, but there is a rainbow stretching across Lake Champlain. Should still be there. If you guys see it, send us some pictures. Uh, and otherwise, be very careful and watch out for some of that fog. It's 43 in Burlington, not quite as chilly there. It's 41 in Plattsburgh, 45 in Messina. 37 in Montpelier, 40 degrees in Rutland. So a cool start to the day yet again, and just a couple little sprinkles on Storm Tracker. They're not necessarily showing up over the Champlain Valley, but they're there. And again, that could cause uh, that rainbow there and maybe even some other spots and a few light showers showing up over St. Lawrence and Franklin counties too. It's just a sign of more of that to come. We'll find periods of light showers on and off throughout maybe the morning, but more so into the afternoon hours. It is also going to be another cool day in addition to some of those scattered showers. Only about 59 by 10 o'clock, upper 60s for our afternoon highs around 2, 3, 4 o'clock. Here they are. I think Futurecast is technically overdoing it a little bit on some of these showers, most of these light, just like we've seen over the last couple of days. But maybe just have that umbrella handy just in case later this afternoon you find some of those. This is midnight tonight through tomorrow morning. I think maybe some spot showers still possible. And then once again through the afternoon on Wednesday, more of these showers making their return to the area. So while today and tomorrow won't either of them be washouts, you will find some of those scattered showers interrupting your day at times over today and tomorrow. Thursday looking a lot drier. That sun will be back out and I think probably the nicest day of the week is going to be on Thursday. That's also when we'll feel our biggest jump in temperature. So today and tomorrow barely up near 70, 77 on Thursday and nice and dry. So to make some plans to enjoy Thursday, Friday dry at first, but some showers and maybe even a couple little thunderstorms return by the afternoon as temperatures are once again back up into that 80 range. Continued scattered showers Saturday, Sunday is going to be the nicer of the two weekend days, 70 with some sunshine and similar for the start of next week.